Again, yung negative pre-departure RT-PCR tests taken 72 hours prior to departure shall be honored only until 0001 hour of 19 January 2022. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, huwag kalimutang isubscribe, ilikes, at i-click ang notification bell para maging updated kayo sa mga susunod ko na video. Mga kabayan, pauwi ka na ba sa Pilipinas? Dapat mo ko itong mapakinggan ng maayos. Naglabas na po ng mga bagong patakaran, ang Interagency Task Force o IATF. Para sa mga individual na fully vaccinated, unvaccinated at partially vaccinated, na manggagaling sa green, yellow, at red list countries territories. Na epektibo sa linggo, January 16 hanggang sa katapusan ng buwan. Samantala, inihayag din ni Acting Presidential, Spokesperson Secretary, Carlo Nograles, ngayong Biernes, January 14, 2022, ang bagong listahan ng mga bansa na sakop sa green, yellow at red list countries. At ang updated testing at ang bagong quarantine protocols para sa mga manlalakbay. Na nagmumula sa iba't ibang bansa, na sakop sa green, yellow at red list countries. Para mabigyan po kayo ng linaw, at tamang impormasyon, pakinggan lamang po ang video, mula kay Presidential, Spokesperson, Secretary Carlo Nograles. Magandang tanghali po sa ating mga kababayan at sa Malacanang Press Corps. Kagabi, nagpulong po ang inyong Interagency Task Force kahapon, January 13, 2022. At ito ang ilan sa mga napagkasunduan at naaprubahan na resolusyon. Naaprubahan din po ng IATF ang bagong country risk classification na mag-take effect simula sa linggo, January 16, 2022 hanggang January 31, 2022. Ang mga sumusunod na bansa, teritoryo o jurisdictions ay nasa ilalim ng red list. Antigua and Barbuda, ang Aruba, Canada, Curacao, French Guiana, Iceland, Malta, Mayat, Mozambique, Puerto Rico, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Spain, at ang U.S. Virgin Islands. Nasa green list naman po ang mga sumusunod, Bangladesh, Benin, Bhutan, British Virgin Islands, China, Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast, ang Djibouti, Equatorial Guinea, Falkland Islands, the Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Japan, Kosovo, Kyrgyzstan, Montserrat, Morocco, Niger, Oman, Pakistan, Paraguay, Saba, ito po yung Special Municipality of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, St. Bartholomew, Senegal, Sierra Leone, St. Eustatius, Taiwan, Timor-Leste, at ang Uganda. Ang mga bansa, teritoryo at jurisdiction na hindi ko po nabanggit ay nasa ilalim po ng yellow list. Kaugnay nito, inamiyandahan ng IETF ang bagong testing at quarantine protocols para sa international arriving passengers sa Pilipinas. Pumunta muna po tayo sa green list countries, jurisdictions, and territories. Ito po, fully vaccinated international arriving passengers shall be required to present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours prior to departure from country of origin. Inuulit ko po, 48 hours na po prior to departure from country of origin ang negative RT-PCR test. Pagdating po ng Pilipinas, hindi na sila kailangan mag-mandatory facility-based quarantine. Again, ito po yung para sa mga mula sa green list countries, jurisdictions, and territories. Pero kailangan nila mag-self-monitor ng sintomas sa loob ng pitong araw with the first day being the date of arrival. Para naman po sa unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, or individuals 
whose vaccination status cannot be independently validated. Mula sa green list, kailangan nilang magpresenta ng negatibong RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours prior to departure from country of origin. Tagtag pa rito, kailangan nilang mag-facility-based quarantine hanggang lumabas ang kanilang negatibong RT-PCR test result taken on the fifth day. Pagkatapos po nito, kailangan nila mag-self-monitor ng labing apat na araw with the first day being date of arrival. Samantala, ito naman po ang protocols for the yellow list countries, jurisdictions, and territories para sa mga fully vaccinated. Kailangan nila magpresenta ng negatibong RT-PCR test result taken within 48 hours prior to departure from country of origin. Pagdating po ng Pilipinas, kailangan nila mag-facility-based quarantine with an RT-PCR test taken on the fifth day, with date of arrival being the first day. Kung magnegatibo ang resulta, maari na sila ma-release for completion of home quarantine. Home quarantine up to the seventh day from date of arrival. Para naman po sa mga unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, or whose vaccination status cannot be independently validated, mula sa yellow list, kailangan nila magpakita ng negatibong RT-PCR test result taken within 48 hours prior to departure from country of origin. Pagdating po ng Pilipinas, kailangan nila mag-facility-based quarantine with an RT-PCR test done on the seventh day with date of arrival being the first day. Kung magnegatibo po, maaari na sila ma-release for completion of home quarantine up to the 14th day from date of arrival. Ito naman po ang protocols for red list. Pinapayagan na po ang inbound international travel ng lahat ng sa red list within the last 14 days prior to arrival to any port in the Philippines. I repeat, the inbound international travel of all persons coming from or who have been to red list countries, jurisdictions, and territories within the last 14 days prior to arrival to any port of the Philippines shall now be allowed. At para sa kanilang quarantine protocols mula sa red list, ito para sa mga fully vaccinated coming from the red list countries, jurisdictions, and territories. Kailangan nilang mapakita ng negative RT-PCR test result taken within 48 hours prior to departure from country of origin. Pagdating po ng Pilipinas, kailangan nila mag-facility-based quarantine with an RT-PCR test taken on the seventh day, with date of arrival being the first day. Kung magnegatibo, maari silang ma-release from facility quarantine provided na kompletuhin po nila ang home quarantine up to the 14th day from date of arrival. Para naman po sa unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, or whose vaccination status cannot be independently validated, Mula sa red list, kailangan nilang magpresenta ng negatibong RT-PCR test result taken within 48 hours prior to departure from country of origin. Pagdating po ng Pilipinas, kailangan nilang mag-undergo sa facility-based quarantine with an RT-PCR test done on the seventh day with date of arrival being the first day. Maari silang ma-discharge matapos makumpleto ang 10-day facility-based quarantine. Regardless of a negative RT-PCR test result, kailangan lang kompletuhin ang 10-day facility-based quarantine. Pagkatapos po, they shall observe home quarantine until the 14th day with date of arrival being the first day. Samantala, itong negative pre-departure RT-PCR test taken 72 hours prior to departure, which was our previous protocol, shall be honored until January 19, 2022, 12.01 a.m. lamang. Again, 
yung negative pre-departure RT-PCR tests taken 72 hours prior to departure shall be honored only until 0001 hour of 19 January 2022.